when we look back on the treaties, the original treaties were intended to build a common relationship between two sovereign nations. And it was to create a relationship where you worked in harmony and consulted with each other at what would work best for all nations, not just one or the other. Those practices, sacred, always attached to the land, always attached to the water, always recognize the air, always recognize sacred fire, always brought that, those four elements into ceremony. And that's, for us, the gift of life. And then we talk about if the other faiths come in and they come in with their different philosophies, we have been taught it's okay to be different. It's okay to have a different belief. It's okay to have a different understanding. But do not impose that different understanding and belief on another individual. That is not your right. You, those who come from other lands, are living on our land. Because of the treaty agreements, you're also a treaty person, those who come from different lands. And the sacred pipe was lifted. And for those of us who are traditionalists, that's our sacred vow, that's our sacred word. And the people back then, that's what they live by before any attempts to colonize or assimilate into a different belief system. And they would have honored that. They would have said, we agree to live in harmony. We agree to work together. Sovereign nation to sovereign nation. It didn't say, we're giving you our life. We're giving you our home. We're giving you our land. That's not what they said. There needs to be something for the next generations to come that upholds our inherent rights, that upholds our indigenous laws, that upholds our tribal laws, that upholds us as a people um, and having a voice in what goes on, not just with our economic basis, but with this earth, with our land, with our water. We didn't give it up. We didn't sell it to nobody. We just had an agreement that people could reside on it. Uh, we didn't say you own it.